Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer. After successful series on SAS or SCSS, we are going back to standard uploads. If you wish to check that series, you will have a link uh, in the description of this video. In this video, we will take a look how easily you could deploy your Angular application with Firebase hosting and easily see your app live on a server. <laughs> Through this tutorial we will work with already created Angular application. Don't worry, app itself is fairly simple. It was just generated with Angular CLI and uh, it is called Deploy Tutorial. App itself don't have any complex content, there is just a simple header, this orange one as you can see on my screen, with the title inside which is just Firebase Hosting and Angular application. To deploy our application on Firebase Hosting, we will need to set up our application on Firebase. Then we will also need to set up Firebase package with uh, our Angular app. Only then we could connect two of those and deploy our application. So, you can simply see that I am on my Firebase dashboard of my account. If you don't have an account on Firebase, then you should first register. Once you are uh, at your dashboard, you can simply click Add Project here. Now, we can create our Firebase project and I will name my uh, Deploy Tutorial like this. Once we create the name, we could also disable uh, Google Analytics as we don't need that and it could take some time to create uh, a project itself. Once the uh, uh, creation of the project is finished, we can keep, uh, click here continue and it, uh, and it will automatically redirect us into our dashboard of our project, our project overview. On a side, we can see many features that Firebase supports, but we need this called uh, hosting. On this hosting, uh, we will see kinda landing page of it and we could immediately click get started to set up the hosting for our application. Now, I jumped a bit from Firebase. I will close my local host here and the reason why I jumped a bit from Firebase is that I wish to build my application for deployment basically. As my app is simple, I could just run ng build dash dash prod for production. With this command, we build our application and once everything is finished, we will have a this folder uh, with deploy tutorial inside. Now on a side we could see this dist, tutor, uh, dist folder and inside of deplore, uh, deploy tutorial we have all of the files uh, for our application and those files will be just deployed. So with this we are ready now to go back into our Firebase. So now we are jumping into setting up our Firebase with our application. First thing to make sure uh, is to have the Firebase tools. The Firebase Tools package will give you the option to use all features available with Firebase. We are installing uh, that uh, by copying this uh, uh, command here and in my uh, uh, terminal here, in my Visual Studio Code, I will paste it. We are installing it with the G flag for global, so we are installing it for our whole machine. So now that Firebase Tools are installed, I will just clear this a bit so we could see it clearer. And uh, we could now log in with our Firebase. So Firebase login. I am already logged in with my user. So I probably won't need to log in again. But if you are not logged in, uh, just uh, enter your email and your password for your Firebase. So your credentials. So now at this point uh, that we have Firebase tools and we are also logged in into Firebase, we could run command Firebase init. So Firebase init. This will initialize our Firebase application, in other words, connect our application with Firebase project that we have. I will be asked a couple of questions and uh, we will set up every, everything through those questions. First one is simple, are we ready to proceed? So as we are, we can hit enter here, so epsilon and enter. We should set the feature now from, Fire, uh, from Firebase that we wish to use, so I will go to a hosting here, hit spacebar to select it and now I could hit enter uh, to choose the hosting. Next thing, it will offer us to use an existing project on a Firebase uh, or to create a new project, uh, but we don't need to do that as we have our own existing project. So use an existing project here. Now we have a list of our projects on our Firebase as we are logged in our Firebase here. So this is my list here and I will use deploy tutorial uh, here. 
So what do you want to use as your public directory? So as you remember, we built our application with ng build for production. We have now dist folder and deploy tutorial folder. So here I could pass just dist slash deploy tutor. Uh, this is the name of my uh, 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 of my uh, uh, build the production. The next one is simple. I will configure my uh, application as a single page application. So I will use uh, Epsilon here and hit enter. Uh, the next one is set up automatic builds and deploys with GitHub. We don't have a GitHub repository. If you do have one, you could go and select Epsilon here and you could connect your GitHub project with the Firebase project. But as we don't have, I will just uh, use N here for no. So now this question is could be a tricky one. The file uh, dist slash deploy tutor slash index HTML already exists. Overwrite uh, and the question mark. So we don't really need to, we don't wish to overwrite our index HTML as it is built with our application. So I will set N here for no. And Firebase is completed now. Uh, we uh, initialized it completely. And at this point, as we set up our application on app side and also on Firebase side, we can now just simply deploy our application. To deploy my application here, I will just run Firebase deploy, which is command for deployment. Uh, this could take uh, some time depending on how big project is. Uh, on my side, it won't take much. Now that is finished, we could see here that deploy is completed, this kind of success message. Now I could simply copy this hosting URL here. So control C to copy. And now in my browser, this is my local host, right? I will copy here my uh, hosting from uh, Firebase and I will hit enter. And immediately live, I will see the same thing, Firebase hosting and Angular application. You can see that this is fully hosted now on a Firebase. One thing here, maybe you won't see your content immediately live. Just wait a few minutes as deployment from Firebase won't go that fast to a server. So now in my console of my hosting on Firebase, I can see my deployments, history, releases, domains, etc. This also means that everything went successfully. This one was quite fast and also quite simple uh, tutorial for deployment of your Angular applications. If you even use Firebase features like Cloud, Firestore, Storage, then hosting is also great for you. This type of hosting is also good for your simple or portfolio applications, as it can be done really fast, it is easy and Firebase is a Google product, which means that it is pretty stable. Now, if you like what you saw today, please click like and subscribe as I'm posting new content weekly. Thank you and see you in the next video.